It's Pete from Cheap Homesteading and I'm in the pasture and I'm going to do a little more clearing. I have the Kubota KX040 for one more day so I want to take full advantage of it and uh, get as much done as I can. So let's go. clearing some trees in here and I'm looking and this looks like this used to be like a livestock watering pond or something because there's a hill here a hill all the way around uh, and it's almost level here there's water that lays here most of the year so it'd be a perfect place to fill up the pond so I think I have been officially distracted so I'm gonna cut the rest of these trees in here and we're gonna try to dig it out a little bit I want to show you the tracks in the pasture uh, since I cleared it out. It's absolutely crazy. There is tons and tons of deer tracks. Here's a nice size one. And there's coyote tracks following it. And there's a whole bunch of rabbit tracks around. It's actually crazy. Well, there's some rabbit tracks. Amazing how much activity uh, was started in here by me clearing a little bit. The deer are nosy, the coyotes are chasing the rabbits and the deer and they're all around. When I get the pasture done, it'll be kind of cool to see what wildlife comes out into the pasture. And Because before it was just in the bush and this was more of a, a direct route through. They didn't actually stay around too much. Look at this, it's a big coyote or a wolf and they're walking right through my backyard. That is great, I'm gonna have to deal with that. Especially after I get my uh, sheep. Oh. Let's see how well it starts. It's been sitting for a week and it was really cold. We wait till the glow plugs come off and it's off. We're gonna let it warm up just a little bit before we decide to uh, take it out and work.
this is what happens. I start projects before I finish them, but this is, I think this is kind of cool. I'll just work on it over years and, and it'll probably turn out to be just a nice little spot when all the grass is growing and, and the uh, sheep go there and everything. A good little start to the pond. I got to think about this for a little bit. Um, I have no doubt this thing will hold water and hold water pretty good. Uh, the only thing I wonder about is how long it'll hold water. Um, it's just nice to have a little pond. I made a gradual edge here so I can drive the tractor down and in the summer anyways when it's all dried out and I can uh, work on the bank edge, make it more gradual and just clean it up a little bit. But I think that is about enough for today. I'm running out of time and you guys have a good one.